This is an application that I came across many years ago in the steelworks where of course we are trying to measure torque with, with uh, measurements group strain gauges on shafts and in the steelworks there are large shafts maybe uh, one meter diameter or, uh, or less driving the steel through the mills and typically we would have shear gauges, double shear gauges, the CEA uh, 06-187-350 ohm gauges. And the problem is, in the, in the field, when you're trying to apply gauges, it's a very dirty environment with grease and dust and, uh, and everything else. So you need to clean the, the surface and then prepare to put down the gauges. And the big problem you have is aligning strain gauges on a big shaft when you're right up against the, the surface of the steel and you can't see where the horizontal line is. You can't figure out where the horizontal line is to apply gauges along the axis of the shaft. And this is a trick that I developed many years ago and I teach in my workshops. So in this case, uh, what we do is we take some ticker tape, can you point in this direction? And what we have here is a piece of paper like that. I bend it over like this and I bring it around the shaft like that. And I put this over the, around the shaft once I've cleaned it and prepped the, um, prepped the surfaces approximately where I want to apply the gauges and I put this around the shaft and when I put it on here because it's a large shaft and there may be a bit of dirt uh, uh, that is underneath the paper I will actually pull the paper up and down around the shaft to bring it into alignment so that this edge here is parallel with this edge over here and I can be assured that it's sitting as well as I can perfectly on the shaft and the paper is aligned along the edges. I tape it down with a bit of tape and then I put, if I look over here, if I have my, my paper like this and this is where I've jo joined it with a bit of tape like that, I put some masking tape over here and I put a rule across here and I, sorry, what, what, I, what I do is I make a mark over there and there and I rub it hard with my pen, take the, take the paper off like this and like that, as typically just to show you. So I'm going to do this and I've got this over here and I've got this over here. In fact, just as it is like that, when it's taped up, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark here so I can see it coming through. And then I bring this across like this. I line everything up and I make sure that this here is, is together. And I, and I cut this with a scissors. Or I put it on a flat sheet and I cut it with a scalpel. So that this, this is cut through and then I bring this through like that and I mark off the other end like that. And I put my scalpel in here and I cut this through like this. I take a scalpel and then I put this back on the shaft like this and I line up this mark exactly where I have it over here on the job because I've already marked this off over here and once I've done that I can go to the other side of the shaft and I have mark off points which are cut on the other side of the shaft and I can again on the other side of the shaft put some tape down put a rule across and mark off. When I take away the tape I now have a prepped area which has been ground with a disc grinder because these large shafts have a ripple on them due to the machining in the machine shop on the lathe. 
and, and, and typically these shafts are quite hard, they've been hardened, so you have to use a disc grinder to bring it down to, to a smooth uh, surface, relatively smooth, and then you finish off with the, with the conditioner and the neutralizer using your uh, three, uh, 320 and the 400 grit uh, paper, carbide paper. So this is just a technique to ensure that the lines, that the alignment lines of the axis of the shaft correspond to where you're going to put the strain gauges.